Thousands of questions pouring in about the mailbox Christmas tree. I'll answer as many as I can, as fast as I can. Materials list. I use PVC pipe. My tree ended up being just barely over six feet tall. You can make it as tall as you want and as wide as you want, obviously. But for my tree, we used a thousand feet of garland. That was 10 100 foot sections of garland. And for anybody who's counting, that was three trips to Lowe's. You would not have to go that thick. I think if you fastened it to the PVC pipe with a zip tie or a twist tie or something, you could probably get away with maybe close to half that much. We went super thick with the garland and between duct taping the top of the poles together at the top and wrapping the garland pretty tight, that held the PVC PVC pipes in on the ground so I didn't have to stake them down or anything. It's powered by an extension cord running to my house. No, a snowplow won't run over it because we don't get much snow here. Uh, so far, nothing has gotten stolen. I don't really anticipate that being a problem. I used four strands of lights and the big ornaments came from Walmart. No, I didn't cover up the mailbox numbers. I just covered them with a magnet for the video's sake. We've already had a couple thunderstorms actually, so it's been pretty windy and it's held up just fine. Somebody commented the mail carriers probably hate it. One mail carrier commented and said they love it. So I don't know about that one. All in budget, right around $300. But again, you could probably get away with a lot less garlic.